They say that a good 50% combo by Dynamite. All right, goes the up throw, another up air. Switches on a neutral air, Mage looking for the spacing. One thing that I do like that Mage is able to have around Yoshi in this matchup, though, is the speed. That's what you kind of need to move around Yoshi and move around Yoshi's hitboxes. Uh, all of Yoshi's tail hitboxes are all disjointed, so you kind of have to watch out every time you see the tail. Yeah. Uh, neutral air sometimes can be one of Yoshi's get out of jail free cards, so you have <laughs> yeah. to always respect it. So, like, for Mage to have that space and look for whiff punishing, Punishes, it's kind of what he should be looking for here, especially with the upper stock. Like, I respect the shield. Go for a whiff punish, comes in with yep, Nair. Go yep, for a back yep. air. Just uh, bleeding him dry at this point. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, we're talking about Nair. We can also talk about that that uh, double jump. Mm -hmm. That super armor getting him out of a lot of combos. For instance, the the uh, kill confirm, up throw, up air uh, mm -hmm. for uh, Inkling is not true on Yoshi, Yoshi, precisely because Yoshi can use that double jump to get out of any of those bad situations. Yeah, goes to the back end. There's the corner carry. Mage with the wedge in oh play. My God. And I like the fact that he's moving, but the nearly Dynamite has to respect the looming threat that is back here. It may not kill, but it's going to put him further off the stage and then reset the edge guard again, and as we knows? see here. At 151, it might, especially being at the ledge. Oh, no re-grab. Uh, oh, wait, wait for, I was going to say, yeah, he oh, waits for the pop-up. He loves waiting mm -hmm. for that. Gets a little extra percent, and then boom, boom. You know, I used to see him, you know, if he really is feeling himself, he'll do the down B after it all the yeah. time. Yeah. That's one thing that I like, that he just waits for the pop-up immediately. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's see. Yeah, exactly. Both of us are just, let's see what he can do. There's a great string. Looking for the jab reset. Mage knowing this matchup, I'm sure by now, especially yeah. being in SoCal. Ooh, so close. Just so risky, there. yeah. But, uh... Here's the back air. Mage sets up there with the ink bomb. I'm sorry, the splat bomb. Pretty good because oh. you do cover the platform there. Double up air. up airs in the triple up air in the road. I hate, I, hate, the, uh, I hate to be the commentator that says, but that's when things start to look a little bit even there, especially <laughs> with how strong Yoshi is. I feel like that's such a, yeah, a commentator cliche, like, oh, even, technically even percents. Yeah. I will say, I mean, if, if Dynamite keeps the momentum. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're no, no, not no. wrong. No, oh, no, yo, he was no. able to just barely. No. Uh-oh. Splat Bomb covers, covers the high option because he knows he's going to force him to go low. Wow, wow. Incredible weaving by Dynamite. Wait, oh. patience. I was going to say... Uh, I told... Oh. There it is. It was patience more for Mage rather than Dynamite simply because at that point, you have to be careful with how you mash yep. because Dynamite's been so tedious at understanding like, okay, I have to mix up the way I'm going to get this punish after yeah. the egg pop. So Mage's opportunity is... Is he's going to have patience, I have to have twice the patience he has. Right, exactly. And you notice he delayed his mashing and potentially didn't mash as fast. And mm -hmm. uh, what I had said in the second stock, if you notice, he went for that down B. Yeah. He wasn't playing her out. He wanted that kill and he wanted it quick. And unfortunately, it cost him the first game. But who else can bounce back but USC, yeah. Fly Society, Dynamite. Yo, man, I got to put that in the sponsor here. Yeah. <laughs> in just a second, but let's get yeah, into the next FS. match. For Dynamite, it's kind of understanding uh, Mage's spacing, for yes. sure. Like it's, And when I say spacing, it's more about his ability to whiff punish. Yes. Uh, so for him, like that's how it's going to have to just work out. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it, it really is also a question of how early he can kill this Inkling. If this Inkling is living, you know, past 120, if this Inkling is living 150, 160, that's so much extra needling mm -hmm. and percentage that, the, that Mage can use to build and snowball the advantage. Yeah. I'd be interested to see what both of them think this matchup is. You know, they, they both absolutely have their strengths. I like it. He goes immediately for the back air. Goes for the classic smash <laughs> for Let me roll behind the wedge. <laughs> yep. <laughs> back throw you. Ooh, I like that. Trying to get potentially the stage spike or at least some extra percent with that back air. Yoshi's back air, a triple hit, much faster than its smash for a counterpart. Up throw up air. I like it. Even waits. I like that he always covers options with Splat Bomb because he knows like if my opponent wants to land here or go around here, I have that covered. If I put the Splat Bomb at that platform, like Dynamite has to respect it. Ooh. These trades too, just keeping Dynamite off stage. <gasps> oh, that's close. Just, the B reverse actually avoiding that. Wait for it. Yeah. It, 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 yeah. Uh, wow. What? Just like you were saying, double patience for Mage. Mm -hmm. Back air. Oh, now it's going to kill him, man. That, that, that tail feels like a truck. It really does. Especially, especially if you're you're trying to parry it, and, mm -hmm. and just like he can choose, especially falling down with it to hit one, two, or three, and th that first, those first two hits, if he fast falls that into the ground, that combos into his smash attacks too. So not only is it a powerful move by itself, but a kill confirm it as well at higher percents. All neutral, I like it. Immediately looking for a follow up, gets caught up in oh. the sauce. 
<laughs> the old man, and he gets immediately. There's the finisher. Two stocks. The two stocks. Dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> not too far behind. <laughs> Dynamite, unfortunately, getting lost in the sauce real quick. We'll see if uh, Mage uh, can make it happen again. You know, and that's a warning to to Dynamite. You know, if he plays two aerial. You know, uh, Mage can shut him out with bombs and with other things. And then <laughs> if he plays two grounded, Roller's really on the table. Especially with how Mage is able to just call out Dynamite for his approaches. Mm. He's able to use back air because back air has a small disjoint, right? And you're able to pull out so fast. You got the speed. Mm. And Mage is kind of used to whip punishing oh Dynamite. But Dynamite God. finally finds a whip punish of his own against Mage. Now, what we have to talk about there was the pullback on the first fair mm -hmm. that allowed him to be back in time to to hit that F smash because uh, cause Mage was correctly going for the bait punish but the good spacing on uh, Dynamite's behalf made that impossible and he got the punish for it. <gasps> no, he's not. Oh, no, you're oh. good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, at this point, like, you can make oh. it back. Oh, soft hit of there. You're still, I was like, you're still fine. Don't hey, panic. Hey, percents or percents, man. He's yeah. got it up. Up by a stock. And, and just what I was saying, he's killing Mage earlier and living longer and that is the key to a successful Yoshi right there. Oh, <gasps> Again, the B-reverse, getting him out of this. The tricky movement is really helping him. Back throw? Yes. Wants the corner. Down air. Goes for it. I like it. Uh, I like that because a lot of Yoshis tend to go really, really low because yeah. you have no other option. Yeah. And he's just going to hit you with Nair. And he has double jump egg to make sure he comes back on the stage. Yeah. So he wants Makes to make the first move. See the commitment there. Yep. But he pulls back in because you know what? You don't want to go too low. Back air. Dynamite still surviving. That's a oh, heavy dinosaur, but finally. I love the snipe with the sl splat bomb. I think it's super underrated and, and it can catch a lot of people by surprise because they're expecting uh, Inkling with their great recovery. They're expecting Inkling themselves to go off stage. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and just to see the splat bomb is really nice. I mean, when the chips are down, right, it's time to look at all your tools and see how they work. Like you said, up throw, up air, not always true on Yoshi. You not always true, armor. yeah, exactly. And so that that's really one of the biggest uh, disadvantages that Inkling has in this matchup. Oh, he's got the corner, man. Oh, he, he, he's, he's not going to do anything but back air for the next three minutes. <laughs> yeah, but it's good for Mage because he didn't go for the middle platform. <gasps> no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, oh, you're not there, though. Yeah. <laughs> That nose. Whew. The nose knows, man. It really does. The long boy for the forward smash, too. Absolutely. And just like their s uh, aggregate set counter, it is 1-1 right now. Yeah. Currently 1-1. Pretty even game. I mean, Mage dominated game one. Dynamite kind of pulled back a little bit to see what it was missing. With dominant, uh, yeah. It, like, Mage absolutely, like, the momentum and the edge was clear in that first game. And we can't mm -hmm. argue it. What was interesting about Dynamite's win was it, it just felt... He was consistently in the lead the entire game. It wasn't like, you know, anything, you know, it wasn't a three stock. It wasn't anything huge, but it was convincing. So let's see who carries the momentum into game three. All right, up throw, up air, the double jump armor there, paying yeah. through. But I still respect the fact that Mage is going to go for the percent. But at that point, like, you might want to start reading your opponent's double jump. Yes, Because they might be preemptively doing it. Because at this point, Dynamite has to know, like, he's going to go for up air, so I can just double jump away from it. Now it's up to Mage to call out that double jump. Slap yeah. bomb forces him to recover a little bit high this time, slow paced. It ended up working out for Dynamite though, because uh, he got more percent off that interaction, but now he's paying the price. But he was able to get those eggs, and those eggs doing so much percent. <gasps> oh, Mage oh. missed the whiff punish, and he almost got Jab reset into forward smash. That would have sucked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Him falling off the stage was very fortunate from him. I don't believe. <gasps> oh, my God. The tech in place. What a madman. Tech in place, of course, being still caught by Roller. Oh, yeah. yeah, this will probably even percents up. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, I was gonna say he, uh, that's so close because immediately Dynamite went for a forward, knowing that Mage wanted to go for a jump. Yep. Almost called it out. Yep. And I think it's really. Oh my God. Uh, Maybe a, a potentially a harder punish there, but I, I respect the Nair as a let me get him off stage, and let's repeat the uh, process and a drop Nair. I mean a drop air. I mean he knew that Mage didn't want to go for that low recovery anymore. He yep. wanted to go for the high recovery. Yep. Oh. <gasps> Wow. Oh, that's it. We saw the mashing, but, you know, a valiant effort, but uh, spare your controller. One, Maybe, like, I don't know, 150% and up, sp uh, unless they, they really mess up, spare your controller. Oh, oh so close. I don't know. I, I, was re I was ready for the for the, the, the ladder combos, the Yoshi <laughs> ladder combos. Wow. Just, just, and, you know, I don't even know if he cares too much about whether that fair hits or not, because if... Mage doesn't want to be spiked, he has to recover low and has to give Dynamite the better positioning for that exchange. 
back air. Gets the grab here. Up throw into another up air. I'm telling you, man, if Mead wants to make sure he has Dynamite on check, it's understanding the fact that he's going to go for that double jump. Yes, the up, up air, up tilt, uh, the up tilt, up air not killing. However, up air at the higher portions of the stage absolutely will start killing if he doesn't go for up smash instead. Oh. 142. What won't Inkling die to at this point? Even strong hit now at the ledge might take it. Back air, that yep. yeah. Only the last hit, too. Sending him far up. What an angle, too. <laughs> it's, it's tough, too, because, like, the way that that hail hits you, yeah. you usually <laughs> expect to be sent straight back, but you're actually sent like, on a 45 degree angle. Upwards, too, yeah. And uh, we see Mage. Oh, that's big! And he got oh. so cocky with it. I respect him because he wanted, <laughs> he, felt, he felt the finisher like Dude, he's feeling it. He's, oh! Yeah. We hate to see those, but good games to both Mage and Dynamite. For for Dynamite, what ended up paying off here was his off.